Today, I am driving two hours to go to Target and buy some self-care products. two hours why would I ever put myself through that but guys we don't have a target in Canada if you didn't know I am from Vancouver and we only have Walmart and London drugs and although I could just go to those I feel like this is more fun if we drive all the way to the USA and make a little day out of it I've recently been looking on YouTube and it has been a huge trend to go to Target and buy the self-care products and I'm I'm just like you guys I watch on TikTok too I watch on Instagram I watch on Pinterest and the obsession with all these self-care products is through the roof and I know we normally don't need new products and I feel like I probably don't but I'm going to go on a little shopping spree and take you guys along with me buy a whole bunch of the most trending products and I think I'm gonna make a video which is gonna be like a part two to this of a complete everything shower routine I gathered my whole family and we're all gonna take a little day trip to the US so I'm so excited I cannot wait to try all the aesthetic products that have been recommended all over my for you page and if you guys want to keep watching and get the top product recommendations from Target make sure you stay tuned to the end because you will see the ones that are getting the most reviews the highest reviews you will be smelling like an it girl by the end of this if you take all the recommendations now before we get into this week's video make sure that you're subscribed because we just hit 1.3 mil and that is so exciting let's get to 1.5 mil also make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment this emoji down below if you guys want to see more self-care videos that kind of like this one or shopping videos let's get started with the road trip <music> Okay, we finally made it. It literally took us like three hours to get here when it could have been like an hour, but that's okay. We're just gonna have to be a lot faster. But we finally found Target, it's right here. I haven't been to Target in so long. And if you're unfamiliar, they actually used to have a Target in Canada, but they had it for like a year or two years. I don't know how long, but then they took it away, which was so depressing because everybody loved it. So I don't know why they did that. I think it's also gonna be fun because I might do some Christmas shopping since we're already here and we might as well take advantage of the Target. So maybe there's like candles or pillows or some cute stuff because I always see American YouTubers go to Target and just spend so much time there and get so many things. when I vlog in Canada. But also I think maybe they don't care. I feel like in the US that's always a thing where like YouTubers are vlogging and people don't care. So I'm not particularly in the lookout for anything but I'm just gonna go through every single aisle and see if there's something that I like, something that I've seen on TikTok and something that is very aesthetic and cute and that I think would match the vibe. Right now we're in the toothpaste aisle so we're gonna see if there's any products that I've been recommended or that I really need. wash that I see all over TikTok and I actually had one. I ordered it off Amazon but I had I think it was a green bottle. But we're gonna do the pink one because it matches my vibe. This one is an anti-cavity fluoride rinse and we want good oral hygiene. <laughs> for this Marvin's toothpaste that is really good and it's fluoride free and it's whitening but I can't find it here but if you find that in like your store get that one because it's such a good toothpaste Native is a 
brand that I do actually see everywhere so I do want to get one of these and these also are silicone free sulfate free and paraben free Like this is another brand that I always see on TikTok, but I don't necessarily need a shampoo from here. I might do like a body wash by this brand. the tree hut body scrubs these are all over tiktok and i've been looking for them everywhere because they don't sell them in canada you can even see half of them are gone These are all the flavors they currently have. I'm debating if I should just get one of each of them. That might be doing the most, but this is a testing video, okay? I don't really love the scent of watermelon, but this looks so cool. This one is vitamin C with body butter. Mm, it's good. This one's kind of strong. Okay, well, they're all really strong. Like Cocoa? Yeah, it's good. Dude, this is the watermelon one. It looks cool, but it smells so intense. Yeah, it's intense. I would choose Cocoa Colada. Oh, a body gua sha? A body gua sha? A body gua sha? I kind of want a body gua sha. <laughs> okay, for these bath brushes, there's this pink one, which I feel like you would probably think is the one that I would get, but I kind of like this one better. This one's got bamboo and it's just white. Okay, we finally made it to the body wash section and I found the ones that I wanted to buy that are everywhere on social media. There's so many cute ones. The first one, Olay Moisture Ribbon Plus. I actually have gotten this before and it smells so good. There's also this brand called Method Body. I see this everywhere. There's so many different scents here. I've only ever tried like one, it was like vanilla. They've got Daily Zen, Pure Peace, and Wind Down. There's one last thing I need, which is heat protectant. That is not something that I had planned for this video, but it's something that I actually have ran out of. I did a poll on my Instagram asking like, what's the most popular one? And everyone was recommending me different ones. Like I got Chi, Gizu, Kerastase, Olaplex, like so many different recommendations. But since I'm already at Target, I might just grab one here. Like a Tresemme one. I don't know how good the ones from Tresemme.
been significantly later and now it is the final time for me to give you the ultimate self-care everything shower product haul. I'm so excited. As you guys saw, I bought everything. I'm so exhausted because I came back from the US today like a few hours ago and I've changed. I've gotten situated in my apartment and I'm ready to show you guys everything I got. Honestly, I kind of lost the plot in this video. I bought like every single self-care item that I wanted. Not that I really needed that, but... They all smell so good, so I'm really excited. Let's just get on into it. And again, if I haven't already said this, I am gonna film an everything shower routine. So make sure you're subscribed for that video. And also I will just be filming more self-care content on my channel because I used to film that all the time and I just haven't really done that recently because I haven't had any products that really inspired me. But now that I have these, I feel ready and prepared. Starting off, I got this little loofah because I gotta make sure that my back is exfoliated. It is this bamboo and like cream color and I love it. This is by the brand Eco Tools. Next up, we're gonna start with the body scrubs. You guys know I bought so many scrubs from the Tree Hut brand. These are all Shea Sugar Scrubs, and the first one I got is the Coco Colado flavor. This, I think, is one of my favorite scents. It smells like vanilla, it smells like coconut. It just smells so good, and I feel like it's the perfect base layer of an exfoliant. The next one I got is the Watermelon Scent. This one is pink, and it's got little black, like, polka dots on it as the seeds. This one isn't my favorite. It's a little bit strong. It kind of smells like lip gloss. Kind of scent. Same goes with this one. This is the strawberry flavor, and this one is just pink. Very aesthetic, very cute. Also, kind of just smells like lip gloss. Honestly, all of these are very heavily scented. So, you gotta make sure you pick a scent that you really like. This one I really like. This is in the scent Cotton Candy, and it is just a bright magenta hot pink. Ooh, like it looks like slime. I just feel like you can't go wrong with this. It's so fun to play with, and oh, this one smells like Lush, like that pink line of Lush products. These two are some of my favorites. These are the very tropical sense. Starting off with the pineapple one. This is so strong with pineapple. It kind of smells like kiwi and pina colada and just like, oh, it smells so good. Just pineapple. It smells so good. And it's got little black dots on it as well. This one, this is the papaya paradise and I kind of just love it because of the name. This one is one of my favorite scents. Oh, it smells like just everything orange. It smells like mandarins, orange, papaya. I love this one. The last sugar scrub that I got is Blue Lagoon, which is one of the most aesthetic ones and unfortunately it is not my favorite scent. This one low-key smells like cleaning products. I mean, it smells good. It smells like clean bubbles, but it does smell like cleaning products. So maybe that's your vibe. Maybe if you like just clean blue scented things, this is the one for you. Now, since we're on the theme of Tree Hut, I also got one last thing and it is a body whipped shea cream. This is the Coco Colada scent with shea butter, pineapple, and coconut. And I bought the coconut one because again, it's a really good base. I feel like you can layer a bunch of different scents on this. It honestly, it just smells like the Vaseline lotion. Like it just smells like coconut, shea butter. The texture of it looks just so whipped and creamy. Mm, I just know that I'm gonna come out of that shower smelling divine. So that's everything I got from Tree Hut. Moving on, we're gonna talk about Method Body. This is one of my favorite body wash brands. I just love the container. I feel like it looks so aesthetic. There's so many different scents. The first one I bought is called Berry Balance and this one has acai, mulberry, and goji berry. And these are plant-based cleansers. So they must be like pretty clean. Mm. This one just smells like berries and it smells like goji berry. I feel like I need coffee like in between all of these scents because I'm going insane. This one is the peony. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Peony rose water pink sea salt. Just very light and floral. And moving on from EOS, I got a 24 hour moisture shave cream in vanilla bliss. It says that you can use this wet and dry. And I usually don't use shaving cream, even though I do like it just because I can use Dove soap, but I felt like being extra, feeling like I'm pampered and getting the EOS one. And I love that it has a little pump. It's just super satisfying. I actually used to use this when I was in high school. So a little bit of a throwback. Moving on, still in the shower department. I ended up buying some shampoos by Native. I've heard a lot about this brand. It's supposed to be really clean. It says that it's silicone free, sulfate free, paraben free, and it is in the scent coconut, milk, and turmeric. So I don't know if turmeric has like something really beneficial for you, but it has all the ingredients in the bag. It says it's clean, simple, effective, and it's only made with 10 thoughtful ingredients that let you say farewell to frizz. This is for curly hair, so I guess I can try this and see how it works out. Speaking of shampoos and conditioners, like higher end ones, I also love Olaplex shampoo and conditioners, also Olaplex by Oribe, I think that's how you say it, and also the hair mask K18. That's like my holy grail hair products. Another drugstore shampoo that I like, sorry, I'm listing out so many, but it's by uh, Shea Butter or something. And last one, I also love the Rosemary shampoo and conditioner from Amazon. 
I know I just said like 50, but I love trying self-care products, so I feel like I've tried quite a bit. And since we're already on the Native brand, I'm gonna continue on with a few other products I got from Native, and that is two different deodorants. Now, the reason I got two, one stick and one spray, is because my boyfriend does stick first and then spray, and I feel like that's the ultimate combo that I need to get on because it's just double the scent, double the sweat protection, and you know, one day you might want this one, one day you might want this one. This is in the scent Coconut Vanilla, so again, we're sticking with a plain coconut vanilla base. Both of them actually are paraben free and aluminum free. And also this spray deodorant says that it is ozone friendly and natural propellant slay. And the last like body shower product that I got are just some Dove bars of soap. This is my favorite soap. This is just the sensitive skin one that is fragrance free, hypoallergenic. This is good for all of your sensitive areas. And you know, it's just clean. It's not scented, doesn't do no harm. And also Dove soap is really good for shaving. So just letting y'all know, Dove soap is the way to go. I have two more products and then the rest of it is kind of like self-care tools, but the first one is the TheraBreath. You guys saw me hype this up in person, but it is just an anti-cavity oral rinse, and it says that it helps fight cavities for 24 hours. It strengthens teeth, enamel, and freshens your breath. And it says that it can also help rebuild weakened tooth enamel and prevent tooth decay. I think she slays, and I like that it's pink, it's cute. Also, side note, I have been rinsing my mouth with coconut oil for like the past year, and I haven't gotten any cavities in the past year. I grew up getting cavities every time I went to the dentist. Like I would go to the dentist and get like seven cavities and I brushed my teeth every morning and night. So I was so confused, but the dentist told me that some people are naturally more prone to cavities. Some people have like a different type of bacteria in their mouth. It just happens. But ever since I started swishing coconut oil in my mouth, like every few times a week for 15 minutes at a time, it's done wonders for me. So I'm just saying it worked for me. And then the last product was the Tresemme Total Volume Hairspray. This is the lock in moisture, lockout frizz. It is like the fourth level of hold. So it will really like keep me sturdy. So I like this. And then going on to self-care tools, I got these little towel scrunchies. These are twist and dry ultra absorbent microfiber scrunchies. So I feel like this will be super good for at night. I love these colors and as you guys know, or if you don't know this already, using a regular towel on your hair after it is wet can be really damaging because your hair is like its weakest and most vulnerable state when it is wet. So you have to really be careful when you're drying it and using like microfiber towels rather than just like rough cotton towels. So I did buy one of those, but I don't know where it is. I got one gifted to me, so that's why I didn't buy one, but I'm glad that I got the scrunchies. The next thing that I bought was a wet brush. This is just a pink wet brush. I've heard so much about these brushes. It says that it works wonders on all hair types. It's got a vented design to speed drying time and the bristles are also blow dry safe. I think the whole purpose of a wet brush is that the little bristles are just really soft on your hair so it doesn't cause any pulling or any tugging and we are trying to go for healthy hair this year. So I got cute little pink brush. Moving on, sorry, this is like in no particular order but I got a new razor. Usually, usually I use men's razors because they are five blade and I think they work better and they're cheaper. But I saw this one and I was like, you know what? Athena Club, I feel like this is a US brand. I went to Target, so I might as well get stuff that I can't get in Canada. And it's also Barbie themed, which y'all know I love Barbie. And it's got a magnetic hook and a weighted ergonomic handle non-slip grip, easy to hold. So I just, I had to get it. It also says Best of Beauty by Allure 2023. So that was speaking to me. And also this one is a five blade razor. So they know what I like. I'm excited to use this. Next up, I got a satin sleep cap. I actually wear satin sleep caps all the time. And whenever I do wear them, it makes my hair so soft in the morning. It really holds your curls. It's good for avoiding breakage. And it's just like really good for your hair overall, especially when I oil my hair at night. Having a cap on, like a satin cap, is really good for the oil not to like get all over your pillow. So I personally love mine. I only have one though. So I'm glad that I got another pink one because mine is black. I highly recommend these. Really good for your hair. Next up, I got another little tool from Eco Tools, and this is a little exfoliator. I've actually never had one of these before, but it says that it's a bath cloth and it's best for smoothing skin. So it says that you can wet the cloth, apply body wash, and massage all over body. So it kind of is like a little bit of an exfoliator and it really just gets that grime off of you. So I'm excited for this. I will never be more clean than with all these products. I have two more things. 
The first one is a body gua sha. It says it's made with jade. It says it's best for soothing and massaging. So I probably will use this body gua sha on my legs, on my stomach, on my chest. I love doing it like on my shoulders. It's just good for massaging, good for getting that lymphatic drainage going. I think this paired with a dry brush, which I already have, which is why I didn't buy one, is like the ultimate duo. So if you guys want to get a dry brush as well, get that and you'll be like ultimate blood circulation, body flow, lymphatic drainage. Just it, it's all flowing, right? Okay. The last product I got was the Rail Beauty Miracle Patch Duos. Now I was actually planning on buying these off Amazon. So I'm happy that I found them in person, but they're just pimple covers. So here's me with all my products. I'm so excited to try these all out. And I just know that my next shower is really going to hit. But yeah, as I said, I'm going to be filming so many self-care videos. I literally have so many products. So it would be a shame if I didn't put them to use. That was the end of this video. I hope that you guys had fun. I had so much fun going to the US for the day. I'm so happy that my whole family came with me and I'm very grateful for that as well. If there's any products that you guys recommend me, let me know, comment them down below. Also guys, I want to do giveaways in the month of December and I'm always asking you guys on Instagram to like tell me what you guys want and then I never end up doing it because things keep coming up. This year, I actually really want to give back. I really want to set it up and do it properly. So if there's any self-care products that you guys would want as a giveaway gift, let me know, comment them down below and I will do that. And also one last thing, if you guys like these like shopping vlogs, let me know because I think it would be really fun to do like a makeup shopping vlog at Sephora or just like other shopping vlogs in person because now malls are a thing again. I hope this inspired you to pick up a new little self-care item or treat yourself or have a little active self-care today. I love you. I'll talk to you guys later and bye. When you were younger, you didn't see things quite the same as you.